Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily animate lowering a car's suspension in After Effects. Let's begin. First, duplicate the original clip and rename the duplicated one to car body. Now select the Roto Brush tool and double click on the duplicated layer. Make sure to rotoscope only the car body, excluding the wheels. Once you're done, click the freeze button. After it finishes freezing, close the rotoscoping window. Let me solo the layer so you can see the result and how it looks. Nice, we have a clean car body only. Now let's move on to the next step. Duplicate the original clip one more time and rename it to original clip slash mask. Leave this layer as it is for now, since we don't need to make any changes to it yet. Let's toggle off both of the top layers, since we need to work with the original one for now. To stay organized, I'll rename my original clip to clean. I named it clean because I'm going to remove the car from the background. To do that, we first need to mask out the car. For precise masking and tracking, I'll use Mocha AE. In Mocha, select the pen tool and mask the car area like this. Once you've finished masking, enable perspective, then click the track forward button. After the tracking is complete, click save here and then close Mocha AE. Now under Mocha, expand matte and click on create AE masks. Then press M on your keyboard and make sure to change the mask mode to subtract. Go to content aware fill now and copy my settings. Here we have two options to remove the car from the background. If you don't have Photoshop installed on your PC or Mac, you can click on generate fill layer and wait for the analysis to finish, but keep in mind the results might not be very smooth. If you have Photoshop, we can use it to make things much smoother and better. Click create reference frame here and wait for Photoshop to open. In Photoshop, select the remove tool and remove the transparent spot. Once you're happy with the clean image, go to file and click save, then close Photoshop. Now click on generate fill layer and wait for it to finish analyzing and rendering. Once the car is removed, check the video to make sure everything looks good, then we can continue with the effect. Let's toggle those two layers back on, then move both of them above the fill layer. Now we can animate the suspension effect, select the car body layer, press P on your keyboard and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Then, move forward a bit in the timeline and lower the suspension by moving the Y position down like this. Let's quickly check it. It works, but it looks a bit weird, and we can fix that easily and quickly. Also I think the car is too low, I will move it slightly up to make it look more realistic. Once the animation looks good, we can start fixing unwanted parts in the video, like that other car body over there. For this we'll use the layer we duplicated and named original slash mask. We'll be masking on that layer to avoid any issues. Make sure this layer is selected, then grab the pen tool and mask out only the car wheels. As you can see it's already fixed, but we're not done yet. First we need to track those masks, then bring back the original shadows in the video, otherwise it'll look off. First let's track the masks. Press M on your keyboard to reveal both masks, then click the mask path stopwatch icons to add keyframes. For accurate tracking, I recommend doing it manually, frame by frame, all the way to the end of the clip. Once you're done, let's check if everything looks good. In my case, it does, but now we need to add some feather to the masks. Press F on your keyboard and set the mask feather to 20 for both masks. Looks way better to me. Now let's fix the shadows. Duplicate the original clip slash mask layer, then on the bottom copy, delete the masks and rename that layer to shadows. If you scroll forward, you'll notice the old issue is back. This happened because we duplicated the same layer and deleted the masks. To fix this and bring the shadows back, we'll create a new mask on that layer and track it as well. Select the pen tool and mask out the area like this. This fixes the issue and brings back the original shadows from the video. Let me toggle off that layer so you can see the difference. This is without the shadows layer, and this is with it. The only thing left is to track that mask, and we're done. Press M on your keyboard, click the mask path stopwatch to add a keyframe, then move forward frame by frame and track the mask manually. Once you are done tracking, you can check the final result. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.